Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get straight in to the Fortnite Mayor's update. You notice that I missed an episode yesterday. My uh, the PlayStation did not download the update, so when I got on, like, late at night to finally sit down so I could record the episode, uh, it was not downloaded. And then um, when I s set it to manually download, it was going to take over an hour to download. And at that point, it was already going to be well past midnight, close to like 1 o'clock in the morning by the time it was done downloading. So uh, I decided to just go to bed. <laughs> uh, but let's go over the Fortnite Mare stuff today. And this is actually my second attempt to record today's episode because uh, I, I noticed at some point um, one of my kids must have knocked my microphone loose and I was like sitting here talking, recording, going over all the changes for like 10 minutes and then I was, you know, then I finally was paying attention and looking at my uh uh, recording levels I peeked over and, and I saw how everything was going and then I saw that nothing was going because nothing was actually being recorded so <laughs> let's uh, I'm gonna go over this quickly a lot more quickly than I was just uh, 10 minutes ago because uh, I want to get through this <laughs> okay so let's get to four nightmares 2023 dawns in the Fortnite battle royale version 26.30 update during Fort Nightmares 2023, it's time to call in Vampire Hunter, you. Match the stakes of Kato Thorne's threat with the new wood stake shotgun and don't stop at Vampire Hunting. Jump into the Horde Rush, limited time experience, complete quests for in-game rewards, and more. Fort Nightmares 2023 runs until new November 3rd, 2023 at 2 a.m. Eastern. There's the new wood stake shotgun. Um, uh... It's findable from the ground, regular and rare chests, and hollow chests. Um, I like this new shotgun. First thing that I like about it, it looks cool, right? It's black. It's got like black bones on it. It's got like spike bones for the for the bullets. It's cool. Uh, so that's one thing it's got going for it. Second thing, it's actually a good weapon. It does damage. It's accurate. Uh, it's got decent range for a shotgun. This is a cool weapon. I like that they added this in. Thorn's Vampiric Blade. Basically, it's the kinetic blade. The big difference with this one is is that uh, it uh, it has siphon. Okay, so w if you hit your opponent with it, you will siphon uh, some of the health from them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, do you like having kinetic blade and have that mobility? Then that's uh, you know something that's good about it. But you're gonna have to decide if it's worth if that mobility is worth it to you to have to fight Kato Thorn. He's got a ton of health and very powerful, so he's hard to fight. You're gonna use a lot of resources just fighting Kato Thorn himself. So you you got to decide is having a kinetic blade worth fighting uh, a, a big boss fight pumpkin launcher if a vampire wasn't october enough the pumpkin launcher is unvaulted so you know it's a rocket launcher but it shoots uh, a rocket that looks uh, like jack lantern right so that's great to have back that's fun uh, the witch broom is back it's fun to have something that you can uh, fly around and have mobility with uh candy is back so candy corn peppermints hop drops and jelly beans those are all back that's fun to have uh and let's go ahead and let's go over some of these fortnite mares quests and rewards okay uh there's gonna be a set of quests uh you get five of them done you're gonna get the bat royale back bling and cat banner icon 15 is gonna get you sweet emote phantasmic fall contrail and hypno bat spray uh the uh get, do, getting 25 done will get you the revenant rider glider uh within the sanctum loading screen and rise of the revenant lobby track now these are all going to be available till fortnite's Fort Nightmares ends, which is November 3rd, 2023, at 2 a.m. Eastern. 
okay there's also going to be uh, challenges where all you have to do is play in uh fortnite um creator made experiences uh so e easy easy stuff to get done Horde Rush is returning, is also going to be here until Four Nightmares ends, uh, and it's going to have its own set of quests as well. Getting one done will get you the Merc Wrap, four will get you Heart of Lantern Emoticon, and seven will get you the Batwing Bone Spike Pickaxe. All right. Uh, there's going to be some new and returning outfits. There's going to be the Rapscallion Seth, Muckfish Bogstick, uh, Meowstrosity Phantom Meowsels, and a Nautilus Festival of Phaedra. Okay. Uh, Disney's Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King set items are on their way. Look out for Jack Skellington outfit in the item shop later in Fort Nightmares 2023. This outfit includes the Santa Alt Santa, ja J Santa Jack alt style, in addition to the zero back bling peppermint parasol pickaxe and jack sled glider, there'll be two emotes accompanying Jack Skellington, scare your squad with the Jack scary face emote built into the outfit and travel on clawfoot with the universal lock shock and barrels tub emote. Michael Myers, the island is not far enough from Haddonfield, the shape is on his way to the shop. Watch your back for when the Michael Myers outfit arrives later in Fort Nightmares 2023. Alan Wake, he's already haunted by his own twisted tales, and soon he'll be haunted by Fort Nightmares. Best-selling novelist Alan Wake is being written into Fortnite with the Alan Wake outfit. Look out for when his chapter starts in the item shop later during Fort Nightmares 2023. Um... These reality augments are returning, or have returned. Game Time, Icy Slide, and Rushing Reload. There is a Quick Weapon Action Beta. Okay, the new Quick Weapon Action, which is in beta, has been added to the controller options. Okay, when enabled, Quick Weapon replaces the next weapon button. Press Quick Weapon... To equip your primary item, press one of the face buttons while pressing quick weapon to switch to one of the other item slots. You can press quick weapon and a face button simultaneously to swap to that item instantly or hold the quick weapon button for as long as you like to get used to how the face buttons match up with the items in your inventory. Additionally, when quick weapon is enabled, previous weapon is replaced by place marker. To make it easier to communicate with your squad. Or you can replace previous weapon with the action of your choice by customizing your controls in the controller customization options. This could be huge for controller players. Obviously, PC players have always had that advantage over a controller player where you can just press a button to change from, you know, slot one to slot four or slot three instantly, whereas controller players would need to scroll through uh, or press the button each time, you know, multiple times. Like if you were in slot one and you wanted to get slot three, you got to press the button two times or, um, you know, whatever. So th that extra time and that extra button push could be all the difference uh when it comes to being in an intense battle so this quick weapon being able to ch change to exactly what you want to change to uh instantly um is potentially going to even some of those uh battles out for a controller player so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out uh, they are ending support for os9 on android devices so if you're on android and you're on OS 9, you need to upgrade to OS 10 or higher. Uh, or, you know, Fortnite's not going to, it's eventually just going to stop working on OS 9 altogether. For competitive notes, the Woodstake Shotgun, the Thorns Vampiric Blade, Pumpkin Launcher, Witch Broom, and Candy are not included in tournaments. The Game Time Icy Slide and Rushing Reload Reality Augments are not in tournaments. Uh, for bug fixes, they fixed an issue where trees were not rendering correctly, and exclamation marks will now clear above the quest tab as intended. And that is your Fort Nightmares update. Um, I think it's a good update. It's not, it's not the best Fort Nightmares, um, that's for sure. 
but I do like this Fort Nightmares. I like um, that we do have uh, a few uh, fun weapons added back in. Uh, like, for instance, I like as I said, I really like the shotgun. I do like having the pumpkin launcher. That is just fun. It's fun to see a rocket launcher pumpkin uh being launched at you right and the blade is fun uh like i said i don't know if it's going to be worth it to really go after it but uh, if you get it it's fun and the witch's broom that's always fun I, I always have fun with that every time it's in it i mean it's such a good mobility item and uh great for dropping in on people when they are unsuspecting so it, it's a fun item all right there you go there's the update uh you may have noticed that the lobby uh has changed as well what's cool about that is now you can just uh you know you have the, your if you scroll all the way up to the main the way it would normally look you can just start playing from there or you can scroll down you can see who is requesting to join your party you can see people that you can join their party right there uh is easily accessible the discovery tab instead of having to go you know over to the discover tab now you just scroll down and everything is right there for you to be able to play it's got uh you know whatever you played most recently like for me Booga's end game horde rush uh zero build uh, you know it's right there and then you can just keep scrolling down and you're gonna find uh, you know just like would normally be in the discover tab the airport tycoon tower fall br summer pool wars jungle slide music maker version 3 100 stories version 1.01 and a whole lot more to be discovered in the discover tab okay let's take a look at quests for quests uh you have all the four nightmares okay let's go over them and again each of them worth like 15,000 each. One of them, uh, the earn XP and creator made experiences, you already have to earn XP in anyways. So you're going to uh, go earn 30,000 XP and then you're gonna get a bonus 5,000 experience. But now let's talk about getting these quests done. Gain full shields with 30 seconds of taking, within 30 seconds of taking damage from opponents. Hit enemy players from 30 uh, meters or more. Uh, search. A ghost buried chest or rare chest okay so for this uh, on the map now you're gonna find ghosts kind of like randomly strewn about and they're kind of pointing the well they are pointing with their finger in a certain direction you go that direction look around on the ground and you're going to find a chest buried in the ground and you can dig it up and uh, open it it's not anything special sometimes it's just I mean it's just a regular chest but you know so that means you never know what you're going to get in it. It's not There's nothing special about it other than that there's a ghost telling you where it is. Uh, sprint distance within 15 seconds of ringing doorbells, 25 meters. Travel distance uh, with a witch room, 500. Visit Eclipse Estate or Relentless Retreat. Uh, and then the creator made experiences. And then Horde Rush has the quest you need to earn a 40 times KO streak. A deal melee damage to cube monster spawners, 6,000. Upgrade weapons at an upgrade bench in Horde Rush, 5. Assist in collecting score multipliers, 5 times. Assist in opening chests in Horde Rush, 75. Help defeat the boss in the final stage of Horde Rush. And hit headshots on cube monsters from at least 15 meters away, 100. Eliminate cube monsters using explosives, 200. Accumulate team points, 1 million. Right, and each of these ones are worth twenty-five thousand experience points. So if you if you've been doing your daily, like I said, and then you do your, um, you know, your normal weeklies, with all this Fort Nightmare stuff, the Horde Rush stuff, you're gonna be way more than a hundred. You're easily gonna get to hundred, and then you're gonna end up getting a ton of extra of the bonus rewards in the battle pass as well. Um, let's head on over to the item shop now and see what's in the item shop today. Okay today we have the, all the icon outfits are here so if you want one of the icons they're in here um we have lee tilts's locker in here today it's got the arc outfit with arc wings back bling for 2000 
Um, the Skellen Glider for 1,500. Prisma Blade Pickaxe for 800. Chrono Contrail for 400. Golden Scales Drop for 500. Or it's all in the bundle for 2,600, which is 2,600 off the total. We got the Kalisto outfit with Hexed Back Bling for 1,200. The Starfish outfit with Anemone Back Bling for 1,500. Stark Splitter Pickaxe for 800. Frolic Emote for 500. Tai Chi Emote for 500. Sakin Emote for 200. Uh, the uh, Soccer Zombie outfits are here. It's got the Zombie outfit plus a Zomball Back Bling for 1,200. You just select which model you want and then the dc section is here so if you like dc and you want some dc uh characters they're in here right now i'm not gonna go over all of them because it's a lot uh but that is everything today you can get any and all of these items using code mikey M M M I K I E in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show and let's go ahead and pick out an item of the day today what am I gonna go with? Um, I'm gonna go with. You know what? I I I like this outfit. I like the starfish outfit. So we're going with the starfish outfit with that anemone back bling for one thousand five hundred. I like that outfit. All right. So that's your item of the day. We need to go over the leaderboard today as well. So let me go pull that up. And see where we're at. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here it is. Today, Victory Royales is a tie with Ganker with two and Guido Lose with two. Eliminations was won by Guido Lose, though, with 57. Assist was won by Carter Cam, 30, with 17. Damage dealt was Guido Lose with 15,800. Nobody caught any fish today. And distance traveled was Carter Cam 30 with 104,400. Very good job, everybody. That is amazing to see. Uh, let me know how you are feeling about Ford Nightmares. Are you liking it so far? Uh, do you like uh, the new lobby? And while we're talking about that new lobby let's mention something uh here that might be kind of interesting to talk about for the next three weeks uh before the season is over uh kato thorn he's got a time machine hmm we can see the time machine in the uh waiting lobby here in the background it's got a 2019 seven 12 on it everybody's saying that is the drop date of chapter one season five and this is a time machine right the date is set for that what would happen if you go into that time machine is it gonna take you back to chapter one, season five map? There's a lot of speculation out there that uh, this is a tease that we will be getting the chapter one map back in the main game. Something I didn't think was gonna be done for a long time still i figured it would be something that they would do someday you know years down the line maybe if they started losing uh traction uh maybe they would that'd be something they do to try to get people back but sounds like and looks like they could be going for that now with the type of teases that doing with the time travel setting a time travel machine uh, to a specific date which is a date that um, you know was from a chapter one map and the specific drop date of a specific version of uh, a map um, you know there's I, I saw on social media people posting pictures of stuff from chapter the chapter one season five map um, items like 
over in the farm area uh items from over there i saw somebody saying um that there's other things like around the map that um are kind of teasing that uh we could possibly be getting chapter one season five map um very soon that like all this fort nightmare stuff uh you know is leading into the end of the season and they might use it uh for the event to lead us right into the next uh season uh and um you know uh that might lead us right into the a, a new map as well so that that should be pretty cool let me know what you think of that all right that's going to be the episode for today make sure you go join the daily fortnite discord and hang out with us follow me over on twitch twitter and youtube head over to apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review for a shout out on the show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode and until next time have fun be safe and don't get lost in the storm